everybody. It is Chef Jill Garcia Schmidt, and I am here today with Sarah Fisher, food scientist with MGP. Very excited for today's segment because we are making what? Bread, and it's going to be keto friendly. in a bread recipe, you have bread flour. Right. Yeah, and so here we have no bread flour. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that'll I, be interesting. Yeah. So I am substituting the bread flour with the two main functional ingredients. You have a protein right. and also a starch because right. you need that starch to make up the structure and then the protein helps stabilize that structure. I love the science behind <laughs> this. Okay, what's awesome. our first step? So we take our fiber sim. So this is is a modified resistant wheat starch. So what's great about this, we have a ton of clinical studies on the fiber sim showing all of the benefits for it. You can even uh, reduce your waist circumference just by eating this I'm fiber in. sim. That's all you had to tell me. <laughs> That's where I keep my portfolio, you know. <laughs> Over here, we have one of our wheat protein isolates. Oh. So this is called Rides 5000. It helps out with dough extensibility. Okay. I'm not sure if any of you have had that experience of you're making a pizza dough, you're rolling it out, it comes right back yeah, on you. Yeah, that stretch back is really annoying. Exactly. Yeah. So you just throw in a little bit of this Rise 5000 and it solves that problem. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So can I put that in my regular bread recipes? Oh yes, definitely. Just even adding just a couple percent of it, it will really help out a lot. Sweet, that's yeah. awesome, I Reducing love that. Reducing mix time too. Ah, mm -hmm. that's even better, okay. See? All right, so then we have very similar here, okay. but a rise 8,000. So a different number this time. Exactly, right. so very elastic type of protein. So now we have basically our bread flour. Give that a yep. feel so you can see. Yep. I'm going in it... with my claw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So very similar to very a Very similar. And then we have our other typical ingredients for bread. So we have okay. our salt. Yes. So here's our yeast. And it's just gonna go in with the dry ingredients? Yes. You don't have to proof it in water or anything Right, first? this is an instant yeast. Ah. So we've got the yeast in there, and we've got the salt in there. Now the yeast needs something to eat. Exactly, and as you can tell, we have no sugar here. Uh, I was just gonna <laughs> say, and with keto bread, you can't get it that way, because we're all about the nutritional factors here. Exactly. So I got this ingredient, it's called inulin. Inulin? Uh, yeah, inulin, so it is a type of fiber, but it is something that the yeast can partially eat. Oh. So then they can use that to produce their gas so then right. they can actually right yeah leaven the okay. bread okay so. all right we do not have any sugar. We only have two grams of net carbs. We have the fiber from the fiber sim, so that helps us get a nice number. Okay, makes sense. Exactly, and we're starting out with a low total carbohydrate number because we do not have the sugar There's in no there. There's no sugar. Right, and we do not have heavy carb ingredients okay. in there, like flour. Yeah. So now we need the fat. Exactly, okay. so I just have some shortening here. That is a very small amount of shortening for this, for this bread. Yeah, well, I just like to have those nutrients facts uh, as pretty as possible. See, that's <laughs> perfect. So what's next? We gotta put in the water. water. And now we ready to get in? Exactly, ah, go ahead. That's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna treat this like I would any other dough, right? Yep, there you go. All right, I've got this almost come together. Can I get it out of the bowl Definitely. and continue kneading it? Yes, please. If I wanted to do this, in a mixer though, I could, right? Oh yes. So, Especially if it was a big batch. Yes, a big batch. And also like I was saying, I typically use a standardized method. So it's called ACC 10-10.03. ACC 10-10.03? <laughs> That's fine, yes, exactly. All right, this, I think I'm done kneading it. Yeah. It looks and feels exactly like regular bread dough. Yeah. Now I assume, like everything else, because it's got yeast, mm -hmm. we have to let it rise now. Exactly. And let it proof. Exactly. So we're gonna throw it into that fermentation cabinet okay. for about 52 minutes for that first proof. Okay. We're gonna take it out, punch it out, and then do another short proof. So a double fermentation. Yes. You know what that means? What? More flavor. Yeah, it sure does. Okay. I love that. All right. Yes. Fantastic. All right, let's go. Mm. 
Look at this bread. Beautiful. It turned out so perfectly. I'm very, very anxious to try it. No sugar. Right. Crazy. I want to taste this before I put anything else on it, okay? Mm -hmm. Stop it. <laughs> it looks and feels and tastes like bread. Right. Mm -hmm. First score you get when I opened it up was A plus on the crumb. Mm -hmm. A plus on the crumb. So I can see that A, you perfectly baked it, which also means that you perfectly kneaded it. Oh wait, I did that part, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> For real. Um, perfectly proofed and everything, because if you overproof it, then it will fall after it comes out of the oven. And the overall result, A plus, everybody. Yeah. A plus. This is a great bread. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe with me. It's fabulous. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, let's eat some more. Cheers. Yay.